ಕ್ಷಣಶಃ ಕಣಶಶ್ಚೈವ ವಿದ್ಯಾಮರ್ಥಂ ಚ ಸಾಧಯೇತ್ ಕ್ಷಣೇ ನಷ್ಟೇ ಕುತೋ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಕಣೇ ನಷ್ಟೇ ಕುತೋ ಧನ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸುಭಾಷಿತ ಸಂಭಾಷಣ ಅಮ್ಮ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ವಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸುಭಾಷಿತ ಗೋಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಷಣಶಃ ಎವ್ರಿ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಕಣಶಶ್ಚೈವ and every small amount vidyam education artham wealth cha sadhayet you should acquire kshane nashte if you lose the moments kuto vidya where will you gain knowledge kane nashte if you leave small amounts kuto dhanam where will you get wealth this is the verbatim meaning of this subhashita essentially it means that you should always be alert and gain your knowledge and wealth in small small amounts whenever it is possible this has a equivalent in the kannada language also hani goodidare halla tene goodidare balla this means every drop of water is essential to make up a lake and every grain and every cob of corn is essential to make a granary balla means those big tall baskets made out of bamboo in which they used to store these cobs in the villages so there is a small english equivalent also every drop of water makes the mighty ocean and every grain of sand makes the desert land all these essentially means that you don't become a scholar in one day or you don't become a wealthy person in one day it is essential to be alert all your life look around always you will be gaining small amounts of knowledge and small amounts of money by thinking about it and practicing this act of saving this is what the principle of your pygmy saving scheme is also based on where you are saving small amounts daily i think pygmy was started essentially to encourage small savings from small vendors small shopkeepers and housewives essentially when pygmy was started years back the pygmy collectors would go from house to house and the person giving the pygmy amount would give barely 5 rupees 10 rupees like that but at the end of the year it amounts to a particular sum so it is your own money collected in a different small bank account and when it comes to you as a lump sum you feel very happy about it the advantage with pygmy apart from just putting it into a piggy bank is that they actually gave you a little extra interest Yes it was a very nominal interest maybe 2% or 1 and a half percent but that would make those people very happy and that small sum would mean something in today's world micro learning is gaining a lot of traction micro learning means just this that you spend a very short amount of time and the short can mean 5 minutes it can mean 20 minutes but essentially you don't spend hours together learning at a time you spend these short amounts at more frequent intervals either within the day or across multiple days and you update your skills so this mode of learning is gaining a lot of traction in a lot of different companies even we are experimenting with this with the learners we are working with and we have seen very good results so this shloka screams micro learning to me yeah i think internet encourages micro learning you don't really have to enroll register or whatever for a course you can just look at the course and course material and go on learning in whatever spare time you have when you are ready you actually apply for the course and do it off in a jiffy so internet stimulates micro learning i would even say you don't need to join a course because nowadays there are a lot of influencers you can say but i call them educators who are creating content and releasing content very frequently and educating people on various topics whether it be vlogs 
telling people about different recipes or science experts scientists or even phd students releasing small videos or snippets of their work these are very educational so you don't have to sit and read your entire textbook you can learn about the same topic from multiple such people on social media and social media by virtue of the format that it is in is already micro learning coming to the ganeshas chaiva part we have these small recurring deposits in um, banks where a small amount is collected every 15 days or every month and at the end of one year or two years as you have signed up you get a lump sum coming to the private sector savings the micro saving is in the form of sips every month you go on putting small amounts in mutual funds or uh, stocks and when it amounts to a certain level then you can start trading in a higher level of finance so micro learning and micro saving should be essentially going on always and this has to be inculcated in the youngsters also there is a strategy called dollar cost averaging as well which basically means that you keep investing small amounts over a period of time not just because it's convenient but also to make way for the natural variations in the stock market you can call it micro saving you can call it your saving strategy but it boils down to the same thing it is very heartening and surprising to know that these thoughts of micro learning and micro saving have been handed over to us for the past so many decades or even eons our ancestors thought of it and we are only giving it new names currently absolutely every single influencer motivational speaker all of them urge their listeners and audiences to improve by 1% daily they say a daily 1% improvement results in more than 365x because of the power of compounding from my professional side i had worked under a professor who had traveled many countries who was well read who had produced maybe some 22 international level papers and all that his teaching to us was every day do at least two phone calls to your patients that will improve your confidence with the patients and that word will spread and over the years you will have a very trusted and well networked practice i have tried to follow it to a certain extent and 40 years into my career i think i am fairly successful this was our bit of wisdom picked up from the ancients for today's episode i hope this stimulates you to think in these lines and you further influence the other and the wave spreads in fact this subhashita sambhashana podcast is also one attempt to understand what knowledge is encoded in our sanskrit literature one subhashita at a time here i would like to emphasis on another micro habit which all of us should try to inculcate we all know that exercising is a very required and essential part of our everyday habits the earlier consensus was that a person should do about 40 minutes of exercise at least 5 times a week to maintain stable and good health the current consensus is if a person does at least 10 minutes of exercise maybe two or three times a day at least for about 5 or 6 days in a week that is good enough to keep him or her in a stable state of health so this also is a micro habit that one person should try to develop so let us know what micro habits you plan to pick up see you in the next episode